All right, so today I'm doing something a little different. I'm going to work on this integral that we have on the board. We have the integral of x to the x over ln x dx. And the first thing I want to do is look at a very useful trick. And what we can do is, let's just say we have some number a or, or a, var a variable or anything a. This is the same thing as e to the ln of a. So like if you have, and this is useful for integrating, because like a lot of times you don't want a constant value in the base, or you don't, in this case, we don't want x in the base. Um, so like if it was, if you edit something with like three, let's say, you could write that as e to the ln of three. And in our case, when we have x, we're going to write x as e to the ln x. And so the reason for that is because we know that an exponential is easy to integrate. So we want the, the E helps us solve the problems. It's going to simplify things. So this is a pretty useful conversion that you can use a lot to simplify an integral. So continue from there, we have this substitution we'll work with. And so let's plug that into our um, integral. So we'll see that we have, instead of x to the x ln x, we're going to have e ln of x to the x ln x. And then this, what we can do is we can just multiply this inside, right in our dx. And then next, when we have to redistribute that, we're going to have e, just we're going to have e to the x dx. And then that's... Um, so that's a common integral that we already know the answer to, and that's going to be just e to the x plus c. And then what we can do is we're, this is a, this is fine. This is technically correct, but what we can do is we can try to put it back into the form of the original answer, which isn't too hard because if we just, um, we know that this is the same thing as this. So we can just write this answer as back in the original form, x over x ln of x plus c. And then we're done. That's all there is to it. So pretty easy and quick integral. We'll stop it there.